and welcome to Real Goth News, the real goth show in which my creepy brother who's in love with me makes me interview bands that he likes in the basement in exchange for not telling on me for smoking pot and fucking his friends. The real goth show in which I get to be in the presence of my beautiful, amazing brother who's so famous and popular. Could we just get on with it? Our guest on the show today is queer rapper, MC, crumb, sneezer, snap, whatever, MC, crumb, snatcher. Um, he's a gay rapper from Oakland, California. Um, he just put out an album. It's called All You Faggots Can Suck My Dick. I don't know what this is even. Why are we interviewing this person? And we're pleased to have him on the show. MC, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello. I will take that as a yes. Um, my first question for you here is, well, why are you even on this show? You're not even goth. You're a fucking rapper. I don't, why am I interviewing you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I got a message on Facebook. I, um... I thought that maybe this could be something where I could reach out to other audiences. I mean, I I don't know, you can see I have my little Marilyn Manson posters up in the background. Uh, sorry? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you. Why did you name your album All You Faggots Can Suck My Dick? What is the, what is the inspiration behind that? Tell me. Thrill me, please. So, um, I went to a Dresden Dolls concert in Chicago uh, many years ago, and there was this terrible performance art band that started, and I was just like, oh my god, this is the fucking worst thing I've ever seen in my life. They were like, had these little umbrellas, and they were like, ugh. Um, and I was making fun of them. <laughs> The opener. I don't even know who they who they were. It was just really bad. Um, and this girl turned over, uh, turned around, and looked at me, and she called me a fag. And I just, I thought it was the funniest thing that I had ever heard because I use that word so much, and I, I, it's something that is common with me and other gay friends of mine. Um, that I was just like, really, people still say that and mean it as an insult. Um, and it just seemed so absurd, like she was just calling me like a, like a person, like you human, or like something like that. It just didn't make any sense to me that it would be something that was insulting. Um, a few years later I moved to San Francisco, um, and I remember I was walking down the street with a friend of mine, and, um, this crackhead, he was just like crazy high on drugs, started screaming at us, and he was like, you fucking fruity, fruity booty faggots out on our street! Um, and my friend got so mad that he called us faggots, and he was like, yeah, we are faggots, so what? And, like, started to, like, scream back at him, and I just thought it was so absurd, because here's this guy, like, totally high on crack, and I was like, why, like, A, he doesn't even realize what he's saying or who we are, he's just blurting out random things, and, like, B, why do you care either way? Like, what is the, why is this a problem for you? Um, and so it just it kind of made me think back to that show. It made me think back to that time when uh, someone had called me that word and I didn't react to it um, in a negative way. It just seemed like something that was funny and it, it turned into a good story and it turned it into a positive experience for me. Um, so the whole point of calling the album All You Faggots Can Suck My Dick is basically just kind of um, taking a word that has been historically hurtful and turning it, in, turning it into something that's funny because if it's funny that it can't be painful in any way. Um, I see a lot of um, dialogue in the queer community about, you know, people um, calling them outside of their pronouns and, and um, calling them, you know, mislabeling them and all these other things, and, and or just, you know, to, towards other communities calling them faggots, calling them names, just whatever. Um, there's a lot of blame on other people for giving them a negative experience. Um, and in my kind of 
years of being alive, I've come to realize that, you know, there's a certain level to which you can educate people, and if they are willing to accept that, then they'll change, and then they'll be, you know, better people because of it. But then there comes a time when it's just, you can't make anyone do anything other than what they were already intending to do. Like, there's nothing that you can do to force them to do that. So, at that point, there there comes a place where you kind of have to take ownership over your life instead of just blaming other people. So, um, the whole concept of it was to just say, hey, you know, there's this world out there that's homophobic, that's misogynistic, and it's, it's really present in hip-hop, it's really present in just everything. Um, and we can take that back and it doesn't have to hurt us anymore. It can be something that's funny and that's enjoyable and where we can hear someone say that and just be like, <laughs> like, what's going on with that person? It doesn't have to be um, something that we react to. Um, so the whole point of the album was just kind of uh, presenting that as an option um, to queer people and also just reinforcing it myself a lot of it was just for me to just have a good time and say I can do this I can say these things I can I can match you on that energy and I can make it funny and I can take it back so um, yeah that was a big uh, that was a big piece of it also it's just funny I mean the whole album is not really there's a lot of politics in it just kind of hidden on that level but it's really just meant to be something where I could have a good time and not always be serious in my art <sighs> whatever um question three are those really your glasses because you look fucking retarded <laughs> these <laughs> Um, yes, they are actually my real glasses. I have really, um, uh, incredibly poor vision. <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Question four. Who are your influences? Enlighten me. <sighs> Who are my influences? Um, let's see. My favorite rappers of all time are Jackie O and E-40. I love them both. They're both amazing. Um, Too Short, I also really love, um, some of my, a lot of my, um, lyrics are really inspired by him, I think he's really funny. Um, I really like, uh, like 90s female hip-hop, um, Bitches with Problems, you might be able to see my Hose with Attitude poster back there, um, Hose on Top, Choice, uh, are some of my favorites, um, who else? Nelly, Trina, Risque, Lil Kim, um, The Far Side. A lot of the kind of rhythm um, in my in my raps is very heavily influenced by The Far Side, who I love. Um, Kesha. <laughs> who I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack for mentioning. Um, cause she's not really a hip hop artist, and a lot of people don't like her for some reason. But when I first heard her album, um, it was like the first time ever that I had heard somebody on that level, just that like the you know the stereotypical like blonde um, you know girl pop singer say something like don't be a little bitch with your chit chat, just show me where your dick's at. I was like, this is, this is good. This is something I've been needing in my life. It felt like, <laughs> it felt like a hole in my gay existence had been filled and there was finally someone that I, I could connect with out there. Uh, <laughs> some, let's see, queer rappers that I really like, Sergeant Sass, are amazing, uh, Juha, Benny E, um, uh, let's see, Argyle Miss, um, who I used to be in a rap group with called Audio Porn. Um, Deadly um, is also another one of my favorites. Let's see, Caswell. Um, I remember when he first did that song on that Avenue D album. Um, I got the Avenue D album and I was like searching for him everywhere on the internet. I was like, where is this Caswell person? Who is he? And then he finally came out with an album like a million years later and I was like, there he is. <laughs> like I had finally found the Holy Grail, like the one other gay rapper that I knew existed in the world at that point. Um, who else? I don't know. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, I'm sure there's more. I just don't, I, I can't think of them right now. Blah, 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 I don't care. Who are your goth influences? I don't even really know who any of those people are. <laughs> who are my goth influences? Um, well, 
I mean, I can't really say that the goth music that I listen to has <laughs> played that much of a role in this particular album, but um, I really love Marilyn Manson. Uh, Typo Negative was a band I listened to a lot as a teenager. Um, I really like Wump's Gut, Sisters of Mercy, The Birthday Massacre, uh, Nine Inch Nails. Um, oh yeah? I think you're cool. You like Susie? Susie? I could go either way. I'm not really a huge fan, um, but I like her. I think, I think Susie and the Banshees is alright. Oh yeah? What about Throbbing Gristle? Um, that Hamburger Lady song makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Fucking poser. Anyway, we finally have reached the end of this painstaking interview. I'm so happy to have had MC Butt Sniffer on the fucking show. Um, is there anything else you would like to say to our audience before we are finished here? Um, let's see, what else do I have to say? Well, thanks for interviewing me. It has been a pleasure. Um, for everyone watching, be sure to check out my new album. It's called All You Faggots Can Suck My Dick uh, by MC Crumb Snatcher. It's available on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, CD Baby, um, other places in the universe. Uh, you can also stream it on my website, which is reverendcrumbsnatcher.com slash MC slash music is where the actual files are to stream it. Um, yeah, find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, MC Crumb Snatcher. Um, I will be making a music video for some of the songs shortly, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, I'm gonna start working on a new album as well after the music videos are done. So yeah, it's been lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much, MC Cum Dumpster, and thank you for joining us on Real Goth News with your host, she whose name cannot be spoken. Hail Satan! I'll see you next week.